And they're testing us, the people of San Francisco, as guinea pigs, really, to develop their technology. Well, the debate over driverless cars sure is picking up steam in San Francisco today. Uh, today, rather, taxi drivers and union workers gathered outside the California Public Utilities Commission, urging the commission to vote no on driverless cars to start operating as taxi services. You see them out there testing. The commission, though, met today and is set to vote on Thursday about this. And our Sarah Stinson joins us live in the studio with details. Sarah, the, the whole country really is kind of looking at this as a test case to see you know, how are we going to handle it when these cars want to start testing out our city streets. Yeah, we are the model. And as we just heard, some people feel we are the guinea pig. But, you know, somebody has to start with this. And some people think we're just not doing a good job. Some of those people stood outside of the Public Utilities Commission headquarters before a meeting today, protesting, calling on commissioners to vote no on this expansion. And some holding up signs. Take a look. They wrote Cruz and Waymo. And they put said, put the brakes on Waymo and Cruz. Not saying no, we're saying slow. So we want to see them slow it down, uh, make sure that uh, all these problems that have been going on are, are fixed. The San Francisco Taxi Workers Alliance and United Public Workers for Action are demanding more research and data before driverless cars can operate like taxis and rideshare services. In the last few months alone, we've seen driverless cars crash and block roadways, upsetting drivers and residents and leaving them with a lot of questions. If Cruz and, and uh, Waymo uh, kill somebody or maybe they cause somebody to die because they blocked an uh, emergency vehicle a fire truck or an ambulance. Are they going to be held? Are the owners of, uh, you know, Waymo and Cruise going to be held personally responsible? Companies like Waymo and Cruise already offer driverless rides 24-7, seven days a week. But now they're asking the California Public Utilities Commission to allow them to start charging a fare for these rides. People against it say this will threaten jobs. It, it would destroy the, the taxi industry, not just in San Francisco, but uh, in Los Angeles and nationally. As of July 25th, the California DMV has received 627 reports of autonomous car crashes. SFMTA has also urged the state to collect more data before making a decision, citing over 90 complaints in March and April. We need independent testing, and if you are required to have a driver's test uh, to run a vehicle on the streets of San Francisco and California, why shouldn't these automobiles, uh, autonomous automobiles, be required to do the same thing? Officials with Cruise say the company has driven over 3 million driverless miles without any life-threatening injuries or fatalities. Cruise says its driverless cars are involved in 54% fewer crashes than the cars with human drivers. The company says they have received 41 letters of support for the expansion. At today's protest, people also said they want to see the city impound driverless cars when they become disabled on the street. Cruz says that they remain in constant contact with SFMTA, police and fire to get feedback. The Utility Commission will meet again this Thursday morning to vote at 11. I'm Sarah Stinson reporting. Back to you.